Hey everyone, Barry Johnson of Keysight Technologies. Welcome back to my test and measurement channel. Today we're going to revisit the Keysight IO libraries and focus on LAN-based instruments. There are several different protocols that we can utilize to connect to these instruments, and I will cover that today using Keysight Connection Expert. With that, let's start the tutorial. Okay, so now that we're back at the desktop, all we have to do is launch Connection Expert and configure the LAN instrument. So to do that, we're just gonna navigate to the up arrow, and then we're gonna right click on the IO icon and select Connection Expert. To add this LAN instrument, all we're gonna do is hit the plus sign and select LAN instrument. Okay, so now we see add LAN device, but what's nice is we see some discovered instruments on the subnet. So if your PC is on the same subnet as your analyzer, it will find it, okay? If it's outside of the subnet, all bets are off and you would have to manually enter the address. So with this, if we hit protocol, we see we have three different protocols, VXI 11, the standard test and measurement protocol for LAN, it's legacy. High slip expands on it, allows for overlapping to make it faster, but it also supports IPv6 uh, internet addresses as opposed to just IPv4. And we also support socket-based connections. So I always recommend my customers, if high slip is available, use high slip. If VXI 11 and sockets are available and there's nothing tying you to the legacy, use sockets. Otherwise, use VXI 11 like you've always used. So I'm going to go ahead and configure this by selecting the actual instrument because it could find multiple on the subnet and then hitting OK. So now I'm going to do interactive IO. I'm going to simply send and read the IDEN string. I mentioned before that this device was on the same subnet. Let's go ahead and configure it like we don't know that it's on the same subnet like in a normal environment where there's gonna be closed labs and you have to have remote access to them or what have you. So we're gonna go back and hit add, land instrument, and then enter this address. And I know the PC name for the unit and I'm entering it now. And, and I'm gonna use VXI 11. So let's test this address. All right, looks like we connected to it. All right, so we have configured two protocols. I could also configure sockets, but just since they're very similar in address, I'm just gonna go VNA high slip. And I'll do VXI or VNA VXI 11. All right, so I configured two aliases to keep those separated in such that there might be one reason for someone to configure it for legacy and there might be another reason for someone to use a higher, higher speed interface. All right, so as always, if there's any questions about this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment, contact us. That's what this is for. So until next time, we'll see you soon.